Well, just a small update for you guys. Ordered a uh, Weber fuel pump off someone on the forum. Come today in the post, so quite excited about getting this on. See, it is for my new engine, but I'm tempted to just put it on with this engine and see what happens. Should be quite funny, I should imagine. It's actually got a bit of fuel in it, it's actually just leaked out. Oh well. Never mind. But yeah, I thought it would be quite funny to link it up with this engine. It's 170 litres per hour. So, think about it. My tank holds uh, about 45 litres. So, it would, I'll do a whole tank in about a quarter of an hour, 15 minutes. Which would be quite funny, in my opinion. But um, yeah, I'm just curious to see whether it's going to flame or backfire loads because it's going to be overfueling like mad with this engine. But yeah, I bought it mainly for my new engine when I get that in and built because that's going to need that's going to need more fuel anyways. Standard fuel pump won't be able to supply the fuel fuel that it needs. So yeah, that should be interesting if you're going to keep keep viewing when I get that hooked up. Also, I did order a sticker. It's meant to say VTR inside, but look what they've sent. VJR inside, which is quite strange. So I've emailed them, and uh, hopefully they'll replace the sticker with VTR inside rather than VJR inside. But anyways, no one's perfect, I suppose. So yeah, just a small update for you. There will be some more at the weekend, bearing today is Thursday. At the weekend, there should be some more stuff coming, if you're going to stay tuned when I fit all that stuff. Um, I'm quite excited, to be honest. It should be interesting. And hopefully I'll get the engine built fairly soon. I want it all in car finished by the summer. Yeah, so yeah. Take care, friends.